Hey, 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 you guys, don't judge this garage behind me because we are in the process of culling our house for a little spring cleaning, and it is finding its way out here. Um, but I just wanted to share with you something that just hit me, okay? Now, um, early in the week, I knew full well that my foot was not healing. I knew that using the scooter, barely putting any weight on it, sleeping in my boot, uh, doing all these crazy things that are, you know, binding me were not working. Um, uh, and I called, um, the doctor that I had been dealing with the last couple of visits and just based on some things that were said and some insinuations that were made, um, I was furious. I mean, you talk about setting this redhead on fire. I was so angry. So, switch doctors. Same practice, right? And I'm still holding on to this bad, holding on to this bad. I can't believe she said that. And I can't believe that two months later, this process of that she's got me on to heal is not freaking working. And just negative, 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 right? <clears throat> so, go to visit with my regular doctor today, my ortho that I've been seeing for years with my shoulder and with my neck and my back. And, um, and... <laughs> Uh, I get a completely different boot. He wants to, I mean, he knows what I, what I dealt with from the previous doctor, right? Um, but he wants to change up some things that we're doing. Um, like my no weight bearing situation. He actually wants me to weight bear. He sees some things that he wants to just try and get in there and do it. Um, uh, had, did a vitamin D, uh, test to see if maybe I'm vitamin D deficient because it's taking so long to heal. And, um, actually said I need to start taking it um, and put me in a new stinking boot. Now, I can just tell you guys right now, if that's all I got to tell you that was a praise, it would be enough. The last two months in this other boot that I was wearing was miserable. I thought this is just because my foot is broken. I had no idea that it was just the wrong boot. That's it. So I get in this new boot and it's got all these things that air up around it and protect it. And I'm actually walking almost completely normally. So already I'm like, wow, that was something good that came of that. But remember the vitamin D thing, right? So we go to the health food store. By the way, you're not supposed to buy vitamins or any of those supplements from Walmart, Sam's Club, and all of the big chains. Why? Because the, the medicine that they're carrying has an extremely long shelf life, and, and it's possible by the time it gets into your gut that it does not have the potency that it needs to have on how it was created. So that's just a side note. Thank you. I'll send you a bill later. Just kidding. I ain't that kind of professional. Anyways, um... So we go to this health food store and we just had a good experience, man. We talked to these guys about just a couple of different things that we're going to implement to get this foot healed up. Um, and being at the health food store just led us to getting a couple of other things that we needed, right? They were things that we realized that we needed to add uh, to our bodies. And so, okay, number two, we ended up getting vitamin D, getting this positive experience at this health food store, learning a couple of things about healing from somebody with a stinking doctorate in uh, natural science. And uh, so... If the bad situation had not happened, I would not have gotten in the right boot. I would not have gotten this experience with this doctorate in you know natural healing science, uh, which, by the way, they're the same thing. Um, and so they're supposed to be anyways. The government kind of wants us to stay sick so the big pharmaceutical companies can stay in business. Um, but that leads to my third option, as if those two things were not already enough. Um, medication is getting changed and it's exactly what I need. Okay. Now looking at it from the inside of the situation, I was furious. I was so negative about it. I mean, for three days, that's all I've done is whine and moan and, and complain about it. Okay. And then to see that the shift in what I thought needed to happen delivered me into the hands of what needed to happen 
And now, guys, just walking through my stinking house, I am not in pain. I am actually comfortable for the first time in two months. And if the bad had never happened, I'd still be in that freaking boot. I'd still be frustrated about the fact that I'm not healing. We probably would have ended up having surgery, just to be honest with you, because that's what the, the end result was going to be if I wasn't all healed up by this time. All of those shifts delivered me into the hand of the shift I needed. Now, the anger has um, passed. The frustration dissipated. I want to get better. I want to get better at being in the bad situation and knowing good is around the corner. Because you know what? I keep finding that I'm learning it and learning it and learning it. And now I want to manifest it. That's where I am. Okay. So I don't know what that's going to look like. I, I really, really don't. Um, but I'm going to share it with you as it happens. And I'm going to share with you my experience. And um, today started bad, ended wonderful. I feel stronger than ever, even with a broke foot. And I just want to challenge you if you're out there, when you're in a negative situation, know your miracles are right around the corner. Know your rainbow is on its way. Know that your good is being delivered for